morning guys and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about waking up early and all the benefits of waking up early and uh, why, I want, why I want to wake up early and why I'm struggling to wake up early. Waking up early is something that I've kind of, not always, but for like a really long time, like since high school, wanted to do. Not because I don't like sleeping, but just because the benefits of waking up early definitely outweigh <laughs> the benefits of sleeping in to me because uh, I don't necessarily feel well rested when I sleep in so like you know this past summer I woke up early every day I woke up at like 7 and it was honestly so nice I am so uncomfortable I have to find some other way to do this as I was saying last summer I woke up early every day I woke up between 7 and 9, which is early for summertime for sure. I would try to wake up between 7 and 8, but sometimes it went to like 8.30 or whatever. But I tried to get up between 7 and 9 because um, nobody was home between the hours of 7 and 9. And this was when I lived with my parents over the summer. No one was home. It was just nice being in the house in the quiet. I should say my brother was home, but he slept this time. It was nice being in the house while it was quiet. I could get more stuff done. It was just all around all around a better experience, you know? So I would wake up, I would slowly go through my morning routine and it was so nice taking my time through my morning routine because I didn't like rushing because then I couldn't really do my routine. It was just kind of like the certain steps that were like absolutely necessary. But in the mornings I like to take time to do other things like uh, read my Bible and if I don't get to read my Bible in the morning I read it later in the day but it's just not the same because then there's movement all around and it's like hard to find just a quiet place to be able to do you know quiet time with the Lord and reading my Bible and praying and stuff so it was nice having the morning time to do that and then I would also write early in the morning and I wrote whenever I woke up early I wrote a lot and it wasn't necessarily um, on like my novel which is why I saw I finished it like I would write YouTube videos, I would write out ideas for YouTube, I would write blog posts, I would get all kinds of stuff done in the mornings and it was just nice sitting there and then it always felt like the day was so so long in a good way and I had so much time to get everything that I wanted to get done, you know? And then at like 9, 10 p.m. I'd start getting tired so I'd go to bed and like relax and I slept really well. Now, oh, I would also take my dogs, my dog, I have one dog, on like walks every day, which I had time to do, and I would do it in the morning after I like ate breakfast and stuff, so I had more time to walk my dog and like get that little bit of exercise in, and it was just really nice, you know, to have that t time to myself, and I'm also very, very grumpy in the morning when I first wake up, so I don't like to see a lot of people when I wake up, I don't like to talk to people. Um, in the mornings like at all so it was nice like not having to worry about coming in contact with people right when I woke up I could wake up before I had to like interact with anyone and that's kind of the reason that I want to wake up early and I want to keep waking up early is because I had such a good experience I want to have time to get things done before I have to go to class I want to have time to read my Bible in the morning to set the right tone for the day I want to have time to wake up before I have to interact with my roommates I want to have time to get some writing done before I go to um, go to class because like honestly once I've been in class and the day like starts I rarely find time for writing and it's really really hard and it really sucks you know because like I want to write I want to finish my books and books <laughs> one <laughs> I want to finish my book and I want to get started on other things and like I just don't have time for that if I don't wake up early and I also don't like rushing around before class there are some days that I wake up like 20 minutes before class starts and all I get to do is brush my teeth and grab a banana and run and hope I don't get a headache before I can get my coffee, you know? And I just don't like doing that. I don't like feeling that stress before I get to class because I don't feel like I'm all the way awake for class. I don't feel like um, rested and relaxed and it just isn't, it isn't good for me. To, like rush around in the mornings and then I have to go like straight to class haven't woken up yet interact with people who like I can't be grumpy with you know I don't know I just it just sucks like waking up late you know so that's why waking up early is just so amazing now here's the time for the excuses portion of this video waking up early is not exactly 
easy in a college lifestyle because a college lifestyle just isn't conducive to like getting up early unless you like decide to miss out on a bunch of things. I am a part of a campus ministry and I go there all the time. All of their events don't start to like 8 or 9 p.m. and if I wake up early I'm exhausted by that time you know and I like want to go to these events and I um, need to go to these events to like make connections and stuff and then I get home from them really late and then the next morning I'm too tired to get up early you know I already sacrifice sleep as it is I can't sacrifice anymore you know what I mean because I only get like five to six hours a night and that just isn't good you might not be able to tell right now but I'm like pretty sick like I might have a cold I'm not really sure but my nose is stuffy and my throat is like kind of scratchy and Yesterday I had the worst headache in the whole world, but I like got through it, you know, but that it's because I don't have time to like sleep it off, you know. Last weekend I actually, <laughs> on Saturday I slept all day and my roommates were kind of worried about me because I literally didn't wake up till 4 p.m. But like it was fine and I just, my body needed the sleep because I can't keep sacrificing sleep like I do. Staying up late is not the best way to be able to wake up early. Now, I recently heard this tip from someone that I watch, what's his name? I can't remember, but I'll put it on the screen like down here or something. Um, but he said that the, like one of the best tips for waking up early is to always wake up at the same time, but only go to bed when you're tired. Like a lot of people say to go to bed like when you're, um, like at the same time and then wake up at the same time but he says wake up at the same time but only go to bed when you're tired so if you're not tired when like nine o'clock rolls, rolls around but it's your bedtime like don't go to bed because all you'll be doing is tossing and turning in bed and like worrying about other things but um if you wait till you're tired to go to bed and then wake up at the same time the next day if you didn't get a lot of sleep you'll be tired earlier the next night and it'll just be better so that's kind of what I try to do, but sometimes me going to bed when I'm tired just doesn't work out because sometimes I get tired at like 5 p.m., but I have a thing at 8 that I need to go to, you know? And I don't do very good with naps because um, naps like don't refresh me. Um, I guess I'm doing it wrong maybe, I don't know. I hear that the best um, amount of sleep for like a nap is like 20 to 30 minutes and that's like a good power nap time and anything more than that is like um, too much and you'll just feel groggier when you wake up but I like can't fall asleep in time to know when to set my alarm for only sleeping for 30 minutes so I don't I don't know I guess I have to be like really tired in order to take a nap but I can't take a nap if I'm get tired at 5 because then I also won't be able to sleep that night so Basically, what I'm saying is, in college, I'm having a really hard time trying to wake up early and like get things done early because I don't go to sleep early. But I really want to because waking up early has like so many proven benefits. I bet if you searched how to wake up early on YouTube, you would find millions and millions of videos, maybe not millions, thousands and thousands of videos about like how to wake up early or like the benefits of waking up early, you know? But I just struggle because college is not an easy time to do that unless you wanna sacrifice certain parts. And for me, that part of the college experience is very important to me, so I don't. I don't like go to parties necessarily. I don't stay out past like um, 12 or 1 a.m. And if I do, it's because I'm like hanging around in somebody's apartment, not because I'm at a party, you know? I mean, I guess we can call them parties, but not really. But anyway, so I'm not like a party or anything. I'm sure it's even harder for like somebody who parties to get up early. So those are the benefits that I've experienced waking up early over the summertime and why I'm having such an issue over the semester. Next semester, I have early, early classes. So I'll be getting up early and I finish um, like really early in the day. So I'll have a lot of time in the afternoon to hopefully get things done probably. I don't really know what my daily routines will be like next semester, but that's okay. I'll update you on this issue soon. But for now, if you have any advice for me waking up early, if you, maybe you'll all just tell me you need to sacrifice the things that you're staying up for. Maybe you're right. You're probably right. But 
whatever if you have any tips for me please leave them down below I'd love to hear from you and I think that is all that I have for you today <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching like this video if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe so you can join my family hit the little bell to get notified whenever I post a video so you won't miss it and that's it so have a great morning and if I don't see you later good afternoon ow good evening and good night